Hi you guys, Momo here, and welcome to the third part of our Another Code 2 Memories playthrough. In the last episode, which is quite a while ago actually, um, we met our ghostly friend D. And in this episode we're going to uh, continue on from this point. So we met him at this uh, stone tablet. So I'm um, going to see what this place is. Oh, and the music started again. Lovely. Okay, so... Nice that we don't have the eerie atmosphere anymore. Okay, so I don't know... I I seem to remember there's a secret somewhere around here, but I can't for the love of... Well, uh, <laughs> love of anything to find it. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. So, uh, then we come to this place. Oh, I... <laughs> What was the voice a second? <clears throat> Have to give me a chance here, it's been a while. <laughs> okay. Jessica? Dad? Mm -hmm. What is this place? It, uh, it looks like to be... Uh, there's a shed here, but I don't think I can enter it. Um, and then there's this. Okay, let's look at this. There's a card on the rails. The card's rusty and won't move. Right. And there's a toolbox. There's a toolbox by the card. And we have a gear. There's a gear inside the toolbox. Maybe this is it. I got the gear. So, uh, if you guys remember from the last episode, um, we needed a gear to uh, get the uh, lock open from the gate from before. Okay. And there's another toolbox here. There's a toolbox on the cart. And I know for a fact we need one of these. There's a metal brush inside. Oh, we can get it. God damn it. Um, right, there's a place where we have to, oh, right, it's here. The machine is old and broken. I've seen this machine, uh, these machines on TV. It's a rock grinder used in a mine. There's a plate on the machine. There's something written on the plate. But it's so rusty. I can barely read it. Maybe I can scrape the rust off. No. <laughs> oh no, I can't rub it off by hand. What should I do? So now we go <laughs> and take the the the, the rust thingy. It's a metal brush. That's right. Maybe I can use the metal brush. Indeed, doodly. Okay, let's go back. This way. No! <laughs> Took the right way. How can I get the dirt and rust off the plate? Oh, right, we have to. <laughs> Derp! <laughs> right, we have to go into the thing. Get to items and. Metal brush. Uh, oh no, I forgot how to do this. <laughs> okay, maybe we have to examine this. Go here. Then we go to the back and use metal brush. Right, right, right. It's been a while since I played this, so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this brush. Scrub, 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 scrub. Scrub, 
Copos, 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 Wow, this is taking a while. <laughs> when is it enough? I am scrubbing all I can. This is like really, really rusty. <gasps> I did it. <laughs> the rust is all gone. Yes, indeed. There's some kind of message and the logo on the plate. Uh, what does it say? I can't read it. All gold found in this mine belongs to the Edward Company. Anyone caught stealing gold will be severely punished. So this used to be a gold mine. Yup. Okay, let's go back. We have the gear, snow. We uh, just have to go. Ah, oh, right, it's this way. <laughs> so now we just have to go back to the gate and. Oh, this this place is so eerie, so silent. But can we? Can no, we cannot examine here. God damn it! All right. Uh, the gate should be right around here. Right now. Okay, so let's examine this. The gate. And let's examine this. Right. Yeah. Use it. I use the gear. I should put the gear here. Right, um, the symbol. Uh, it was this and this. Damn it, it wasn't it. Ah, uh, I'm pretty sure it was this. Maybe this. Nope. Mm. I forgot what the symbol looked like. Ah, okay. Let's uh, let's see if it's this. Nope. Okay, I I completely do. <laughs> okay. Um, I will just quickly go and check what the the <laughs> the logo looks like again. Isn't there a run button or something? I seem to remember that is. Nope. Oh well. Okay, look. Let's look at the the thingy magic again. All right. It's the one hand with one finger, and then there's the thing with the line in the middle okay right 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 got it got it so <laughs> it's a lot of, lot of walking back and forth but that's because i don't running around at the speed of sound Pacing mildly at the speed of walking. Okay. I know the thing now. Do I have to use the gear again? Yeah, I guess. Right. So it was this. And this. Right O. Open the gate! Now let's go explore some more. Ooh, a bridge. Pretty. Uh. So, where exactly? Okay, that's 
uh, the doors open a crack. What's this? There's something by the door. Oh, Jessica's glasses. Is she in here? Picked up the glasses. Let's go, go see. Jessica! Nobody's here. Hmm, standing on a lab coat. There's a lab coat on the floor. The lab coat is wrinkled. Is that all? Oh, there's something here. There's something in the pocket. This is... A photo of a woman with a baby. Oh. It's all coming back to me. That dream I always have about that night. I heard a voice saying... Ashley, quick, hide! Yes. That voice was... Mom's. That woman in the photo is Mom. I got Sayoko's photo. There's nothing in the barrel. Wait. Okay, let's look. Creak, creak, creak. <laughs> um, there's some boxes here. The box holds many iron uh, spheres. Great. There's a briefcase on the table. There's something inside it. There's a document inside. What could this be? It's just a cover sheet. The cover says research report another. Authors Richard Robbins, Sayoko Robbins. What? That's mom's and dad's names. This must be the cover sheet of the research report. Got the essay cover. Mm, books? The books on the desk. And a small card is next to the books. This looks like some sort of memory card. Maybe I can read it on my desk? Got a desk card. I'll just put the card into the desk. Dearest Ashley, I'm sorry for not meeting you, but I have finally completed another. At last, all of all the efforts made by Sayako and myself have paid off. I'll be waiting for you in the mansion past the gate. This is Dad's message to me. He's waiting for me. There's nothing that here that suggests suggests Jessica's whereabouts. I can read, I swear. Um there's a lamp by the wall. <laughs> right. Um did we it's a wooden disc, right. What about what about this? It's a book open. I wonder who was reading it. Chair? <laughs> it's just a wooden chair. Right. Okay. Um guess there's nothing more in here. Alright, <laughs> I forgot this voice! <clears throat> Ashley. I didn't know you were he you were here. Let's go talk to him. Our ghostly body. D. Ashley. You just disappeared. So I looked for you. Were you upset with me? Because I told you that I can't help you? No. 
That's not it. After I heard your story, I remembered something. What he recalled? What did you remember? Something about my father. Your father? Oh right, I, 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 tr <laughs> I, I thought to myself that I would give him more like an old British accent. Because it's like... Uh, I felt like it's so, some sort of British mansion. <clears throat> you were saying that you wanted to see my to see your father your father who you thought was dead when I heard that I remembered remembered what about my father he's he's dead what my father died he died at the mansion on the other side of this gate inside the mansion where Franny lived. Uh, about the mansion. There's a mansion on the other side of this gate? Yes. What happened to your dad there? I don't know. But I'm sure I'll remember when I get there. D. I see. That mansion is... Where Dee's dad died. And also, where my dad is waiting for me. It's all a little confusing. Ashley? Huh? Have you found your father yet? No. But now I know where he is. Where? In the mansion. Who's Franny? My friend, I think. What do you mean, you think? When I suddenly remembered my father, I also recalled Franny. It was Franny who called me D. D. I'm happy for you. What do you mean? You're getting your memories back. Yes, that's true. I wonder, why are you suddenly starting to remember things? Because I met you. What? When I was all alone, I could never remember anything. But then I met you, and the things are starting to come back to me. The... Well, I, I never said I was good at accents. <laughs> right, okay. Um, can we talk more to you? Mm. Nope. Mm. Right. Um, what's over here? We never examined over here. I guess there's nothing then. <laughs> okay, let's examine the gate then. Um, can we can we do that? Is that a thing? Oh right. <laughs> the gate has two old sculptures. On the left, ha uh, on the left is a hand sculp sculpture. It's holding a sphere. And on the right is a hand sculpture. And it's not holding a sphere. So, I assume in my... Uh, I have totally not played this game before since that I have to get one of these spheres. Okay, so I don't have to take one of the big ones. Let's take a... Very sizes. Some are large, some are small. Um, oops. for fuck's sake. <laughs> so I have to go out. Examine the hand more, I think. Mm. 
This hand is empty. This must be... Uh... Can I do it now? Um... It's a small iron sphere. This one is small enough for me to carry. Right? Oh, so let's go toss some iron iron spheres around. Okay. Good. Oh. <laughs> right. And backpack. And iron sphere. Use the iron sphere. Maybe if I put it in the hand. Eh. Oh. <laughs> Nope. <gasps> I did it! <laughs> I remember having so much trouble during this part. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, when I was smaller. Yes, it o I opened the gate. I can't believe it. Let's go, D. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you want to go? Can I go with you? D, of course. Come on. Okay. I think maybe we can become good friends. Friends? It's a little weird. What with me being a human and you a <laughs> and you a ghost. But we're both searching for something. I need to find my dad, and you need to find your memories. I think we can both find what we're looking for in here. Come on, Dee, let's go! Okay. I'm suddenly reminded of the captain's words from earlier. Just keep repeating it in your head, you won't forget. Repetition is the key. Yes. If I keep repeating things in my head, then I won't forget them. A few days ago, I got a letter from my father. Before that, I believed that he had died when I was free. Using the letter, I tracked him to the island but when we arrived, he wasn't there. The first person who went to look for him was... Jessica. Yes, Jessica left me at the pier and went into the woods. But when she didn't come back, she said... I went... Ah! Uh, when... <laughs> but when she didn't come back, like she said, I went to find her. In the past, there was a wealthy family that lived on this island, but they died of mysterious causes, leaving the island empty. The name of the family was... The Edwards. Yes, it was the Edward family. While looking for Jessica and Dad, I wandered into the cemetery. Inside, there were, there were the Ed Edwards family graves. <clears throat> The names on the graves were Henry and Thomas. Yes, the graves belonged to Henry and Thomas. After I moved a big stone slab from a hole in the cemetery wall, I met a ghost named Dee. At first, Dee didn't have any memories of his life, but when he talked to me, he remembered something. It was about his father. That's right, Dee remembered his father when we were talking. Specifically, he remembered that his father had died. I came to this island to meet up with dad, but I still haven't found him. When I see him, I want to ask him why he disappeared, why he's on this island, and most of all, I want to ask him 
if mom is still alive. I found Jessica's glasses by the door of the porter's lodge. I went inside the lodge looking for her. There I found a desk card containing a message from dad. I also found a briefcase in the porter's lodge. Inside the briefcase there was uh, an essay cover. That's right, in the briefcase was a cover for the research report. Mom and dad, dad's names were on it. I don't understand. What is another? There are still so many things I don't know. That's why I need to find dad. Is he in the mansion on the other side of the gate? Okay. Now I won't forget. Chapter 2. The House of Lawrence. And I'm going to end it off there. So, if you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave a like and tune in to the next part where we, we, we will... <laughs> wow. Where we will begin chapter 2. So, I've been Momo and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.